What's the weirdest thing you've ever heard about modern medicine? Doesn't matter, trust me, I've got it beat. From treatments with parasitic worms to what starvation actually does to your body, and even just how disgusting every single step we take really is, this video will make you rethink everything you know about your health. Are you ready? I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 bizarre medical facts. 25, you can recognize thousands of faces. Humans are amazing when it comes to recognizing faces. In 2018, researchers recruited students aged 18 to 61 and asked them to list everyone they could recall. Friends, family, the janitor they barely interacted with, you name it. The catch? They only had an hour. Once the clock stopped, researchers crunched the numbers to estimate how many more faces they might have remembered with extra time. Next, the participants took a celebrity test, identifying familiar faces from over 3,400 photos. When all was said and done, the results were incredible. The average person can recognize about 5,000 faces. That's enough faces to pack a small concert arena. 24. Our bodies need ethanol to beat methanol. During the pandemic, strict lockdowns in countries like India and South Africa brought unexpected challenges, including a surge in methanol poisoning from failed attempts at DIY home brewing. Methanol, unlike ethanol, the alcohol in your favorite drinks, is highly toxic and can cause severe harm. Ironically, the treatment for methanol poisoning comes in the form of ethanol, meaning that if your homemade brew turned lethal, vodka or wine might have been the life-saving antidote. Fortunately, hospitals had their own stash of medical ethanol, proving that the best fix for toxic brews might just be more booze of the safe kind. 23. The Hogben Test Believe it or not, before the 60s, finding out if you were pregnant might have involved a frog. It all began in the 30s when a scientist with the magical name of Lancelot Hogben discovered that injecting a woman's urine into an African clawed frog could trigger ovulation if she was pregnant. While it sounds bizarre today, Hogben's method was a major leap forward. These frogs, valued for their ability to ovulate year-round, were shipped worldwide and became unlikely pioneers in early pregnancy detection. 22. You'll need more anesthesia if you use marijuana regularly. Studies show that daily or frequent users may require up to three times more sedation than non-users. This happens because marijuana affects liver enzymes, causing your body to metabolize anesthetics faster. That's why it's crucial to tell your anesthesiologist if you're a cannabis user. They're not judging, just adjusting. Nobody wants to wake up in the middle of a medical procedure, so honesty is the best policy. 21. Your lips are sensitivity superstars. Packed with tough receptors called Meisner's corpuscles, they're wired to detect even the gentlest pressure or the slightest temperature change. In fact, they're over 100 times more sensitive than your fingertips. And this extreme sensitivity isn't just for romance. It also helps you avoid scalding your tongue on hot drinks, sense a crumb stuck where it shouldn't be, or feel the first hint of dryness that tells you to grab some chapstick. They're as functional as they are fascinating. <laughs> 20. Urban living might be harder on your lungs than you think. Living in a city or near a busy road could mean your lungs are working overtime, and you might not even realize it. Constant exposure to air pollution, such as fine particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide from vehicle emissions, can cause chronic inflammation in the lungs. This low-level irritation can persist silently, increasing the risk of asthma, bronchitis, and even long-term lung damage. Sadly, these effects often build gradually, making it easy to overlook the connection. So, your lungs could be paying the price for where you call home. 19. You can treat ulcerative colitis with parasitic worms. Ulcerative colitis causes painful bowel inflammation, and while medications and dietary changes can help manage symptoms, there's no permanent cure yet. Innovative research by the late Dr. Joel Weinstock explored a surprising potential treatment, swallowing drinks laced with parasitic pigworm eggs. In early trials, nearly half of ulcerative colitis patients and over 70% of Crohn's disease patients reported improvements after consuming these worm-laced drinks. The theory is that these worms help regulate our immune systems, potentially offsetting disruptions caused by modern hygiene. While still experimental, the approach could inspire new avenues for treating immune-based diseases. 18. We have a million reasons to celebrate baby brains. 
In the first few years of life, a baby's brain is working at lightning speed, forming over a million new neural connections every single second. Yeah, every second. The rapid growth is incredible. By the time they celebrate their first birthday, their brains have already doubled in size from birth. And by the age three, they reach 80% of their adult volume, packed with billions of connections firing away, ready to tackle whatever preschool will throw their way from their first ABCs to mastering shapes, colors, and social skills. 17. Our not-so-obvious differences Women and men differ in plenty of obvious ways. Think shoulders, hips, and reproductive organs. But here's something you might not have considered. Our digestive systems are different, too. On average, a woman's colon is about 10 centimeters, or 3.9 inches longer than a man's, weaving through the pelvis alongside organs like the uterus and ovaries. As a result, it takes food a bit longer to travel through the digestive tract, culminating in slower digestion. It also makes women more prone to bloating and constipation, so I guess that's one difference we should be thankful for. 16. Your stomach speaks fluent borborygmi. Well, you've never heard of it? Well, borborygmi is the official name for all those gurgling noises your stomach makes. And yes, it's a real word. The oddly embarrassing sounds happen as food, gas, and liquids are moved along your digestive tract through a process called peristalsis. The gurgles get louder when your stomach is empty because the hollow spaces act like echo chambers. And that's all there is to it. Just your body doing its thing, with the occasional awkward moment to keep things interesting. 15. Your nose is more than a smell detector. The ancients figured out something long ago that we're rediscovering. The shortest way to the brain is up the nose. If you've ever endured a COVID test, you know exactly how it feels when a cotton swab ventures uncomfortably close to your brain. So it might not surprise you to learn that modern doctors have perfected the art of removing tumors through the nose. Yeah, really. Armed with a long endoscope and a curette, a tool for scraping tissue or debris, they navigate the nasal passage like a high stakes science mission. It's precise, effective, and let's face it, a little mind-blowing. Literally. 14. When your body smells like fish. Fish odor syndrome, or trimethylaminuria, or TMAU, causes a person's sweat, breath, and urine to smell like, well, fish. It's caused by a genetic mutation that stops the body from breaking down trimethylamine, a compound naturally produced in the gut. Instead of being processed, the excess is released through bodily fluids, which leads to the unmistakable odor. The condition is inherited and can range from mild to intense, making social situations tricky for those who have it. It's incredibly rare, and research is ongoing to make life easier for those affected. 13. Heart disease might be contagious. For the longest time, heart disease was seen as a personal issue, something tied to your genes or your lifestyle choices. However, researchers from CIFAR's Humans and Microbiome program recently uncovered evidence suggesting otherwise. They found that heart disease, alongside conditions like IBS and type 2 diabetes, may be contagious. The link lies in the microbiome, the collection of bacteria, fungi, and parasites in our gut. Researchers revealed that transferring an unhealthy microbiome to animals actually caused them to develop the same illnesses. It's like passing along a stomach bug, but with far bigger implications. Whether a healthy microbiome can spread the same way is still being studied. 12. We can thank horseshoe crabs for safe vaccinations. Horseshoe crabs, with their striking bright blue blood, are ancient creatures that have thrived in our oceans for over 450 million years. But these underwater survivors aren't just fascinating, they're vital to modern medicine. Their blood contains immune cells that detect and trap toxic bacteria by clotting around them. This remarkable mechanism inspired scientists in the 70s to develop a test that detects contaminants in vaccines. Before this breakthrough, there was no reliable way to ensure vaccines were free from harmful bacteria. Today, medical practitioners can deliver vaccines with confidence and protect countless lives. 11. What starvation does to the human body Starvation isn't just deadly. It affects every part of the body. The stomach shrinks, making it painful to eat normal portions even if food becomes available. The heart also weakens as its muscles shrink, lowering blood pressure and reducing how well it works. Prolonged starvation can lead to anemia, stop menstruation in women, and weaken bones. The brain takes an especially hard hit. Without essential nutrients like potassium and phosphorus, 
it loses gray matter, causing permanent damage and long-term cognitive problems. In extreme cases, the body can even develop a fine layer of soft hair called lanugo, similar to a fetus in the womb, to help regulate temperature. It's a terrible way to go. 10. Too much caffeine can make you hallucinate sounds. Caffeine is part of daily life for most of us, but it's easy to forget that caffeine is a drug, and consuming too much can have bizarre and dangerous side effects. Excessive caffeine can overstimulate adrenaline receptors, putting serious strain on your body. Even more unsettling, drinking too much coffee, or any caffeinated product, makes you three times more likely to experience auditory hallucinations. To stay safe, experts recommend sticking to four regular cups of coffee a day. Any more than your daily pick-me-up might become a serious problem. 9. Laughing off insomnia The struggle is real. Any insomniac will tell you about it. However, laughter might be the unexpected remedy you're looking for. When you laugh, your body releases melatonin, the hormone that helps you relax and feel sleepy. This natural boost sets the stage for a good night's sleep. Trust me, science backs it up. Laughter not only releases melatonin, but also reduces stress and relaxes muscles. So instead of just tossing and turning, try watching a funny video or recalling a funny memory before bed. It might just be the sleep aid you've been missing. 8. You could be walking around with TB and not even know it. According to the World Health Organization, about one quarter of the world's population is infected with TB bacteria. TB is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, primarily affecting the lungs. In many cases, the body can fight off the bacteria and stop them from multiplying, resulting in latent TB, where the bacteria stays dormant and can't spread. People with latent TB don't feel sick and show no symptoms. However, if the bacteria become active, it can lead to TB disease, which makes people sick and potentially contagious. 7. Your body has magnetic fields. Without the Earth's magnetic field, we'd be bombarded by deadly solar radiation. But it's not just the planet that has magnetic forces, our bodies do too. Electric currents create magnetism, and since our nervous system runs on electricity, it generates magnetic fields inside and around us. In fact, every organ in your body uses electricity, which means each one has its own tiny magnetic field. While the magnetic field of the human body is incredibly weak, about 1 10 millionth the strength of Earth's, our heart stands out. Their magnetic field extends beyond our bodies and could be influencing other biological processes. 6. You can build muscles just by thinking about it. Getting fit takes work, and working out is tough. But here's the crazy part. Research shows you can build muscle just by thinking about it. In a study at Ohio University, 29 volunteers had their wrists in casts, Half were asked to imagine exercising the wrist for 11 minutes a day, five days a week. After a few weeks, the mental exercisers had muscles twice as strong as those who did no workouts at all. So, could you get a six-pack just by thinking about it? Well, you'll never know unless you try. 5. It's time to ditch the pajamas. A true naturist knows that sleeping in the buff has its perks. Not that we're all naturists, but let's follow the science for a moment. For one, you'll fall asleep faster and enjoy better quality rest when your body is cooler. Plus, quality sleep isn't just good for your mind, it's great for your body too. Naked sleep also promotes healthy skin, helps burn calories, reduces the risk of yeast infections in women, and boosts sperm health in men due to cooler testicles. According to those in the know, it's a win-win. 4. The Vampire Disease You've probably heard of albinism, the condition that causes a lack of pigment and sunlight sensitivity. But xeroderma pigmentosum, XP, takes it to a whole new level. People with XP react severely to sunlight and often stay indoors or wear full body suits to stay safe. XP happens because their bodies can't repair the DNA damage caused by the sun. While sunlight damages everyone's DNA, our bodies can usually fix it. For those with XP, this repair system is broken. So sunlight exposure is downright dangerous and increase the risks of severe burns and skin cancer. 3. The Hidden Downside of High Intelligence Intelligent people tend to live healthier and longer lives. However, when it comes to mental health, they often fall at the opposite end of the spectrum. Research on Mensa members, those in the top 2% of IQ, found that they are more prone to anxiety and other psychological disorders. 
They were also three times more likely to have environmental allergies compared to the general population. The theory is that higher intelligence leads to stronger reactions to stressors. For example, a highly intelligent person might feel more anxiety in stressful situations because they understand the full gravity of the challenge, while others may only focus on the immediate problem. Two, your body is a hotspot for trillions of microbes. Viruses are everywhere. Seriously, they're all around us, living in ways that we don't even notice. Some make their presence known through symptoms, but many are so harmless that we never even realize they're there. And trust me, there are lots of them. Our bodies are made up of about 10 trillion human cells. That's 10 with 12 zeros. But that's nothing compared to the bacteria living inside us. There are 10 times more bacterial cells than human cells in your body. And get this, you actually carry around 100 times more viruses than human cells. That's 10,000 trillion or 10 with 15 zeros viruses just for fun. So yeah, we're basically walking ecosystems full of tiny invaders. It's like the force, it binds us, it penetrates us. One, fungus, fungus everywhere. Your body is covered in fungus. And I'm not talking just a couple of hotspots. It's literally everywhere. It's not just one or two types either. There are dozens. In a study by the National Human Genome Research Institute, scientists cataloged all the different species of fungi on your body. The results? Oh, not exactly what you came here to hear. Your head and chest have the least fungus, with only about 10 species each. Your hands and arms carry 20 to 30 types. But your feet? Oh, they're a fungal paradise. Between your toes, you've got about 40 types, 60 in your toenails, and 80 on your heels. There are 200 different species of fungus on your feet alone. Every single step you take, it's on fungus. And they'll be watching you. <laughs> so, well... That's a wrap. Which bizarre medical fact was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And feel free to share any that we missed. If you love this trip into the weird and wonderful, be sure to check out our other channel, Dark Roast Detectives. I look into horrific true crime stories, and trust me, you don't want to miss it. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest content, and I'll catch you next time.